I have the power! I got these old toys that my dad saved for me back when I was like eight years old, back in the 1980s that I used to play with that meant so much to me. And I brought them to Taiwan with me and I wanted to talk about them because what's really special about these toys and to tell you what the name of this toy is, Masters of the Universe. This is the original He-Man. You can see he's missing his arm and his trusty cat. And this is Skeletor, the evil guy. And it started as a cartoon. They fought each other and there were all these different bad guys. And what's really special is they were made in Taiwan, which I think is so incredible. And it also shows you the quality of things that Taiwan makes because these toys specifically are from like 1983. Anyways, these are the two original characters. And I just wanted to show you a few characters. Um, this book I found when I was in an antique market in Canada and I got excited because, you know, it's a story about all the, my old characters that I love. So let's just check it out. So I'll show you some of the good guys and some of the bad guys. He-Man, when he's not He-Man, he is Prince Adam. And then he has this power to turn into He-Man. So that's Prince Adam. This guy's name was Moss Man. He, he's, he's like made of moss and he doesn't have a smell anymore, but he used to have a smell that was like moss. Also made in Taiwan, 1982. And he basically, you put him down and like that. Now what I loved about He-Man is that they were very creative. If you look at the toys today, like the action figures, the quality is not as good and the creativity I feel is not there like it was back in the 80s. So, so there's another one. Check out this guy, he's an elephant. Uh, one of the girl characters, she was the one that kind of was the protector of the castle. So he is a robot and you think he's short, but then you can actually, this is what is cool about him, you can pull his arms out. Suddenly he's like extra tall. A purple durian. I don't know. He's a spiky guy. He's got this, but pretty cool looking. So yeah, every He-Man character, like they're just so unique. This guy has this like a uh, hand, but he's got like this gold metal glove. This guy's like a lobster guy. He's got like wah, 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 wah. hi, my name is Lobster Man. Okay, this is Skeletor. This is his main lady right here. I would not mess with her. Now this is the funny thing. Okay, this is He-Man's girlfriend, or maybe it's Prince Adam's girlfriend, I don't know. But her skin color is very similar to my wife. Kind of like, you know, short, similar height to my wife and everything. So if you wanna know what my wife looks like, there she is. And when I met her, this is the crazy part. She had blue eye contacts, just like this character. So it was almost like as a kid, I was like, I'm gonna marry this girl one day. And the crazy thing is that I didn't know that my toys were made in Taiwan when I was a kid. I had no idea what Taiwan was. And then I discover, oh my God, this girl is made in Taiwan. So who would have thought that I would marry her one day? So there she goes, right on there. You know what? This is 2020. He man, take a seat back. I don't know if she can fit in there. I'm going to sting you. Fish man. And this one always scared my mother for some reason because she read a book about a dragon and this reminded her of the character in the book. Do you think he's scary? I don't know. I think he's pretty cool looking. I am Hans and I am Franz and we are here to pop you up. So later on they came up with a new set of bad guys called the Evil Horde and this was their leader. Pretty creepy looking. And you can see this is the symbol here for the Evil Horde. So this was the main bad guy and then there was this guy that was part of the group. And this was a robot that was part of the group. And this guy, he can he has suction. He can stick to, to uh, walls. And then we have this hairy guy, part of the same group. And this guy, he had a thing you pull. And he's got wheels. And he just... So there's this guy. He's really cool. I like his color. He's got a cool little tongue. My wife is in the background getting scared because they're snaky, lizardy looking characters. This guy's like a... Ooh. I mean, maybe the reason I'm not scared of reptiles and things is because I grew up with these toys. I mean, that's possible. And this one's like a Medusa. Isn't that crazy? Like, these were my toys growing up. No wonder I had such a crazy imagination. This guy, he's like, I'm normal. Or am I? Like, oh my god, I am a snake now. You little baby, or 
Alright, and the last one here. Wah! He's like a lizard guy with really long arms. I'm pretty creepy looking. Imagine that was living on the earth. I would play for hours. This is before smartphones. But honestly, I played this for hours and hours by myself. Like, I had so many adventures with these characters. And there was a cartoon that I would watch on Saturday mornings of He-Man. So these toys have been through Canadian winters. They've been through Taiwan summers. And I just wanna say, don't lose your imagination. These toys brought me so much imagination and so much joy as a child. And I love how it's basically a multicultural universe. And the final thing I wanna say is, if you do have old toys, as, as strong as these ones made in Taiwan were, my kids are stronger. <laughs> so be careful with letting your kids play them. Let your kids see them if you have them. And just remember, like He-Man always said, I have the power, you have the power, we all have the power, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you, Taiwan, once again, for making all of these exciting toys. Taiwan makes good quality toys. Leave a comment below and let me know if you recognize any of these toys from your childhood.